and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to look at how to install data loader into your Windows laptop. And I'm going to assume that you don't have Java environment, which is a prerequisite for downloading Salesforce data loader into Windows. Uh, if you have a Mac, you already probably have Java installed. So the first step is go to Google and just Google install data loader on Windows. And you should be brought onto this developer.salesforce.com page. And here you can see the first step is installing the Java runtime environment version 11 that is important or later um, so first thing we're going to do is go to that page and download the first one which is zulu that's open jdk and download that and you have to choose the msi version um, dot msi as per the document and just download it in your downloads folder that's fine so once it's downloaded we're going to extract the file and put it in your program files if you wish. So we're gonna download that and let it run. All right, so I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna take me through this installation window. And the good thing about using MSI is it automatically adds things to your path variable and add to path, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to do that manually, hopefully. So let's keep moving and it's gonna install in my C program files, Zulu, that's good, that's what I want next and install it's just doing some installation hit finish now let's go to our command um, prompt to see if it actually is installed and there you go so we now have open jdk runtime and 64-bit so this is what is a prerequisite for data loader. Now we can proceed with data loader. Now it says from your org setup page, download the data loader installation file. And that means you can really go to any of your Salesforce environment and you should be able to download that data loader. And that's under integrations. And here you'll have downloads page. It's gonna go to that page and we are gonna download it for Windows. Okay, so far we have installed the data loader by using uh, our Salesforce org. And then once you install it, you can download it to the downloads folder and then just extract all the files to the same downloads folder. It doesn't matter. And then we we'll click on that and you have to run the install batch file. So we're going to click on that and you can either provide an installation directory or I'm just going to leave it to default. When you leave it to default, what's going to happen is going to install it under your users and your name folder and it will create a path or a folder called data loader so i'm just going to say yes and let it run and it will ask if it's already there it will override it let's say yes because i might have done it before so now it's installed my data loader is now already under that path so if i go to um users and my name and data loader i'll find a folder there let's go check that out so going to my name and here i'll see data loader is already created now this is good i mean you already have data loader now installed and you can just click on data loader batch file and it will install the data loader for you so i'm just going to do that and it will start the data loader right away so this is one way and one of the things that you may notice is if you continue to go that path um, it will ask for whether or not should we create a shortcut and shortcut is valuable because then you can just go to your search and start data loader instead of going through the file. So let's hit yes and see what happens. Now this is where you may get an error. And this error happens because um, if you're using your work laptop, chances are it's actually OneDrive dash desktop because it is assuming that your desktop path folder is your users and name and desktop. But if you are using a work computer, chances are this name is probably OneDrive, whatever your company name is, and then your name and desktop, which is why it will run into an error. And unfortunately, I have not been able to figure out a way around this other than the fact that you can disable the OneDrive, then install it, and that's how it will run without an error. Um, and you will actually find this um, article as well that explains the same thing, basically. But uh, this is still a valid way. So you can create your own shortcut if you want. Um, basically, if you really want, it's not going to help much, but what you can do is just, um, this is the file that you really need. Um, 
right click this and you can say create shortcut so now i have a shortcut um, and i'm going to just move that to my desktop and move it to your desktop just so you can access it from desktop if, without having to go through all these paths and i'm just going to go to desktop and i should see my shortcut and you can rename it to data loader like i did here um, just to start it from your desktop and we'll do the same process every time start the jre check for if you have a java installed or not if it is not installed then it will error out again so make sure java is installed and then you can land into this data loader so it's just a little work around i'm sure there is a way to use that batch file and um, create that icon yourself um, but i'm not a or powershell expert so I haven't uh, ventured into that yet, but hope this is helpful if you're getting that error. So just know that if you're getting that error, it's fine. You can still use data loader. It's just gonna be one extra step um, unless you can get error away from using that OneDrive and use the default desktop path. I hope this was helpful. So you can now use, use data loader. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have a workaround this, I'll be really curious to know that. Thanks.